Now we're going to explain the battery hydrometer to you. The battery hydrometer is a glass tube with a suction bulb on it that draws the electrolyte from the battery up into the glass tube until the float inside begins to float. Now when the float is floating, it has markings on it. You can see a red strip from there to there, a narrow white strip, and then a little wider green strip. Now how does that work? Well, if it floats up and it's in the green, that means the battery's in pretty good shape. The more that the float sticks up out of the electrolyte, in other words, if it's down in here somewhere, the stronger the battery is. If it only floats up into the white, that means the battery's only in fair shape. And if it goes up into the red, then it really needs a charge. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of sample tests just so that you can see how this works. This is the actual test. You place the hydrometer down in the cell till it touches the top of the plates. You squeeze the bulb hard as you can. Get all the air out of it. Then draw the electrolyte up into the glass cylinder. Now you see the float is floating already. So you can stop right there, hold it level, and let it float. Now you notice that it's just at the top of the green, almost into the white. So obviously that's an indication that the battery needs some charging because the specific gravity of the electrolyte is low. All right, now remember, this fluid is called electrolyte, and it's a mixture of sulfuric acid and water. It's very dangerous. You don't want to get it on your clothing. Now we put it all back in the cell. And the proper procedure is to read each cell the same way. Now you'll notice that this cell is a little stronger. There's a more of the green showing. So we put that one back. It still needs a charge though. This also is a good way to test a cell if you don't have a voltmeter to see if it holds two volts. Obviously if, if, if it's a bad cell, it's not going to give you a very good reading on the hydrometer. So the hydrometer is another way to see what condition your cells are in. Now, this one's about the same as the one we just did. Uh, it's at the top of the green, again indicating that a charge is needed. While you're doing this, you should also check the level of the electrolyte inside the battery, and that level should be at least an eighth of an inch above the top of the lead plates.